Here's one more example of you substitute the number in and it causes undetermined form, so you need to do algebra. And if you looked at the previous ones for 2.3, I'm basically going through the different possibilities of what to do as far as the algebra. So in this one, we've got two fractions that need to be combined in the numerator. And hopefully somewhere along the way, we're gonna have the five minus the five so that they can cancel. It would then leave only the H, and then hopefully these H's can cancel. Because this H in the denominator is causing trouble. It's causing division by zero, so you want to get rid of it. So over here, the least common denominator for these two is going to be a 5 multiplied with a 5 plus H. So we've got plenty of space for the numerator now. We've got this fraction that needs to be multiplied by 5 over 5. So the numerator would look like 5. The denominator would look like 5 times 5 plus h. And I'm not going to multiply that out for now. I might need to later, but I'm just going to wait and see. Next, this one needs to be multiplied with 5 plus h over 5 plus h. There's subtraction in between. So the numerator is just going to look like a 5 plus h. The denominator is the same as the one on the left. And now combine them. So you've got the limit as h goes to 0, a big fraction with an h in the denominator. And then combine these two so that they've got a common denominator of 5 times 5 plus h. And then the numerator is going to be a 5 minus 5, they cancel, and then a negative applied to h. And now we've got what's called a compound or complex fraction. So whatever this denominator is, multiply, so you look at it as the top and the bottom, and for the top one, the denominator is 5 times 5 plus h. So multiply this whole big fraction on the top and the bottom by the 5 times 5 plus h. So these are going to cancel, leaving only negative h in the numerator. And then for the denominator, an h times a 5 times the 5 plus h. We've got one more step of algebra, and that is divide by h and divide by h. So it leaves a negative 1 on the top. And after that, we should be able to substitute h equals 0. So we've got negative 1 over, so there's the 5, and that h got canceled. And in the parentheses, it would be 5 plus 0. So it's a grand total of negative 1 over 25, negative 1 25th. And then I would like to take a look at the graph and see if that looks right. So you've got parentheses 1 divided by parentheses 5 plus x, and then minus 1 fifth and then close the parentheses for the numerator and divide it by that, which I'm using x. And that setup from negative 2 to 2 should cover it. So negative 1 25th. So if this is 0 0.001, then negative 0 0.04. Let's see, negative 1, 25th, yes, that's right. Okay, great, we've got it.